Hey guys, it's your standby friend Mars from the Mars Today Studio. So it's been a while because we, you know we haven't really been unboxing anything of interest as of late, except you know if I'm doing a video, it's probably something interesting. Fedragani Asia sent over a paper box experience for me to open up, so I'm gonna take you guys with me as I open it. So let's check it out. So if you're not familiar with Fedragani, they are the people behind prestige paper products, which what they do is they send specialty papers to your printers. So now we're looking at one book. It's called Uncoated Colors. And you get to see the index of what kind of paper you get. You get smooth, textured, and specialty. I mean, basically smooth papers is just like the ones you can the paper you see on books so they so what this uh, paper experience really gives you is that you get to feel the, the finish of the paper the texture how thick it is and then you get a guide so you know what kind of paper to order when you have a publication printed so basically it's all the colors I don't usually work with colored uh, papers, but uh, this is worth looking at if you know you like a special kind of book cover, especially if you're working in uh, print publications. Now I do, uh, I do several uh, print print projects, independent print projects, such as. Uh, this zine which was part of my recently concluded exhibition now we are looking at uncoated whites okay so these all these are all of the whites uh, you know uh, it might be overwhelming but there's so many kinds of white there's textured white can you see that texture and you can see that texture All right. Okay, so uh, last but not least is the coated papers. Now, coated papers are okay. Let me try to remember what coated papers. Okay, coated papers has this a kind of uh, special finish to them. And what else? If you're f if you've ever felt paper like on a magazine versus like your textbook you would know that the texture of the paper is different so okay let, let's do a quick run now coated papers for uh, covers uncoated whites for the insides of your publication and uncoated colors for you know if you're feeling extra fancy just you know pick a color pick a color paper stock for that and yeah so that's basically the paper box experience <laughs> that we've just had so there you have it the contents of the Fedragani paper box experience you get uh, three books of different kinds of paper samples for coated paper, uncoated, and uncoated whites. Okay, so you might be wondering what would I need all this paper for? So as a person who does a lot of uh, print projects, you need to know what kind of paper you want to work with for your projects. Because you want to save yourself the time, the effort, and the most bang for your buck. So for my first project, I really didn't know what kinds of paper I wanted to use. So for this particular zine, which as I said earlier is pretty much the standard for uh, mostly catalogs uh, for zines, I would suppose. I mean, for, for zines with like a uh, hard-ish cover. Just to give you an idea, uh, there are different kinds of zines. This is not all of them, this is just some. Uh, there are zines with hard covers like this. There are zines with like, semi-hard covers like this. And 
There's also um, paper zines. This helps you decide what kind of papers you want to use for your publication or your print project. Uh, you're no longer limited to just asking the printer, hey, can you print this on your nice, nicest paper? You know, there's many kinds of nice paper. So as you can see, if how thick this uh, paper swatch is, they're all nice papers. You gotta pick one of the nice papers and you gotta have a name for it, like maybe symbol, not maybe symbol card two side. You gotta name it, honey. Is it heavy? Yes, it's heavy. It's different kinds of paper. There's a body paper box. You get three books of uh, different kinds of papers. Okay, so I hope this video helped just to give you an idea of what the Pedragoni Paper Box experience is all about. And if you're doing a print project, I strongly suggest that you ask the printer what kinds of paper they have. They won't go through all of these papers to pick one for you. So that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have questions of what other things this is good for, you can leave a comment down below. Thank you so much to Pedragon Asia for sending the paper box experience for me to open and yeah, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video.